Greetings, everyone. It's me. Woo! There's a bee. Oh, sorry, I'm still easily scared by bugs. Ah! Okay, so it's me, Shannon. I am a sweaty mess. My hair is a mess. I'm just like sweating like crazy. Of course, in the South, we Southern women, we don't sweat, we glow. Anyway, anyway, um, what I just did was I hopped on my fabulous bike. See it? My trusty bike. And I came up to, um, it's just like right around the corner from my house. I live in Sanford, Florida, but I'm right on the border between Sanford and um, DeBerry is the next little town. It's like just a few miles from me. And I just parked at Lake Monroe um, Park, State Park, and it's free to get in. Um, and I parked and I rode my bike. I rode for about a half an hour and I think I went about four, four and a half miles or so. Ooh, pretty bird. Ooh, it's a hawk coming in. Anyways, I just wanted to show you, I know other people I'm sure have done fabulous um, videos that are edited and show the whole trail. It's a trail, it's a paved trail that takes you from um, Lake Monroe Park to Gemini Springs Park. Gemini Springs is phenomenal. So I'll do another vlog out here from Gemini Springs at some point. Um, not today though. <clears throat> I've got some stuff to, I have to do later. But anyway, I just wanted to show you some of the beauty. If you're ever out here in this area or if you're new out here or whatever, it's a super easy bike ride. Um, they don't rent bikes, so you got to have your own. But just check out the beauty. I mean, I come from Southern California originally. There's a lot of beauty out there. And I've lived in Nevada for, what, 24 years? And the Southwest, the desert has its own beauty, absolutely. But there's just nothing. This is totally unparalleled out here. I'm, I've lived out here in Central Florida now only for about eight months. And, I mean, I don't have roots here yet, so it doesn't feel like home as much as it does or did or does in Nevada. But this beauty is just, I mean, look at this Spanish moss. This is like stuff you see in the movies. It is stuff you see in the movies. It's not like it, it is it. But I think, uh, I mean, just, I don't even have words to describe the beauty. Now, I've taken the walk um, over there in, at the Lake Monroe starting on the trail and only come about maybe a quarter of the way because walking obviously is a lot slower than riding a bike. Um, but if you ever come out, it's mostly shaded. It's a beautiful, beautiful area. And what I'm going to do on this video, because I have an iPhone 5S and I don't have that many, that much memory and I don't want it to cut me off. So I'm going to go back. I'm going to pause this video and just kind of show you little snippets along the way of the beauty of, of what you can see along this trail. I've been out here before and usually you see tons of squirrels. I've seen one today. I think it's just hot, humid, and they're just, they're just staying hidden. Um, but like bugs there's plenty of those lots of butterflies it's just a beautiful ride so I'm gonna pause this and I'm gonna go back along the trail um, I'll stop in a couple places and just film some of the areas that I think are the most beautiful I don't have the best camera on the planet I'm just using my iPhone 5s which isn't the best camera on the planet but hopefully it'll at least give you an idea um, especially for my friends and family back home in Nevada and in California who have maybe never seen this it, it, my camera doesn't do it justice guys it's amazing so I'll show you a little bit more right here I made it to Gemini Springs Park. I don't know if you can see that sign over there. It might be glared out by the, by the sun. But anyway, okay, I'm gonna head back along the trail and stop in a couple places and um, show you what I can see. All right, see you in a minute. Now I gotta figure out how to pause this thing. Where's the pause? Hmm, that's not the pause. Okay, well, I'm not sure how to pause it, so I may have to do this another way. I'm not sure. Now you're watching me fumble around. Um, I'll give it a shot. If I am not able to pause this and pick up later, then just, uh, you know, I'll just pick it up. Um, what happened here? There we go. I'll just uh, do a second video um, as I go along the trail. All right, see you guys. Hey guys, okay, it's me again. So I wasn't able to figure out, or I don't even know if that functionality is on this phone, uh, my iPhone 5S, where I can pause the video and then come back to it later. So I'm making a second video. Now I'm still along the trail between Gemini Springs. I'm going from Gemini Springs to uh, the Lake Monroe Park area. And I pulled off to the side because A, it's, oh, sorry. This is gigantic cypress tree. Um, which provides tons of shade, but also I saw butterflies and everybody knows I'm like crazy for butterflies. So there's a bunch of butterflies over here and I was just doing a, a video a second ago and then my phone cut me off. So, but I'm, I was very, very close to catching a couple of these. So I'm going to try again, but I'm also going to show you just real quick. There are some very deadly spiders out here in Florida and I don't know if I have found a banana spider or not. Again, my phone doesn't film that well, but check out this butterfly. I'm going to try to see if this will land in my hand. Come here, buddy. 
These seem to be very friendly butterflies. Check them out. Come here. Come on. Oh. He's just flying in circles around my hand. Is this cool? Wait, can you guys even see that? Okay, there he is. I'm gonna try to try to get him. There he comes. Come on, buddy. Oh, he's going really close. There's a spider web over here with a very dangerous spider on it, so I'm trying to be careful. I am hoping you guys can see this. He's really pretty. He and his little friends are all looking the same. They blend in very well over here. Whoa, there's another one. Very camouflage. Let's see if I can catch one. Come here, bud. Oh, they're pesky. They're pesky and stubborn. Come here, buddy. I got you. I got you. Oh, he's coming close, but no cigar. Well, hopefully you saw that. I was trying to get him in my hand. Didn't hear. Let me see if I can get this guy, and then I'll show you the cool spiders, and then I'll move on. Here, here's a couple of them. Come here. Come here. Oh, please come here. Oh. These little guys are stubborn. Well, I came close. I'm one of those people who's just like, I'm not giving up. I must catch the butterfly. Let me try again. I gotta be careful where I put my hand though. There are tons of spiders around here. And I know that there's poison ivy as well. Oh, here's one. Come here, buddy. Come here, bud. Nope. Okay. So I was chasing a butterfly over here. Am I still on camera? I gotta be super careful because this grass is tall and I know it's full of all kinds of spiders and, oh, more butterfly. Hey, buddy. Coming very close. So there are these interesting um, spiders. I found one right here. They have like a little clown face on them. Can y'all see that? You know I've gotten really brave over time if I'm getting this close to a spider. Anyway, like a little smiley face. Yeah, they're very deadly. And then I saw this gigantic spider. Can you all see that? I don't know if you can even see that. He's got some long legs. And based on the markings, it could be a banana spider. I don't know. I can't see. The web doesn't look yellow, but I know there's another type of spider that looks similar to a banana spider that has a thick yellow web. And this one is not thick or yellow. It's just kind of a regular web. But he is, he is crazy. See him? I don't know if my camera's picking him up. Anyways, okay, so me and my butterfly expedition, I think, are over for now. Um, I'm going to head down the trail and, and get going, get some water. More butterflies. There they go. Ah, pesky little guy. I'm going to see if maybe, maybe I can, maybe he'll cooperate this time. It's another one of those spider webs. Don't get in the web, buddy. Oh, come here. Oh, I'm so close and yet so far away. I don't want to push him into the web. All right. I'll head down the trail and show you some more, hopefully some more beautiful stuff as I go along. Because right now I'm in a clearing area and it's really cool. But it's very sunny. So I'm going to try to go back in the shade. And uh, that's it. I'll catch up to you guys on the next, oh, I don't have bugs on me. The next short vlog. Bye. Hello again, it's me. Okay, so I'm on my bike and we're heading back into the like kind of the jungly portion of this. So I'm gonna film just for a minute. Oh, sorry. All right, hopefully y'all can see that. Sticker in my shoe. Check out the beauty. Is this amazing or what? And it's gonna look pretty much just like this for the rest of my entire trip till I get back to the end where there's a little wooden bridge. Okay. So I'm gonna put the camera away while I ride the rest of the way. And I'll film the bridge area when I get to the end cause it's really cool. There's actually water there. So it's like a real swamp. Oh, back to a short clearing, and then we'll be back in the jungle again. Welcome to the jungle. You know I had to do that. Oh, oh, there's a, whoa, a bug chasing me. Okay, okay, I'm gonna cut off for now, I'll be back, bye. 
Okay, me again doing another short one. I just wanted to stop for a second and show you guys the weird diversity in um, like the ecosystem around here. So I went from like jungle to a clearing, which was just like a grassy field. And now, I mean, it smells, look at, it's just like, oh, the sun's glaring too much. It's mostly, except for a couple of palm trees, it's like pine trees. And it smells like pine. It smells like up on, I'm in the Northern California mountains or the mountains in, you know, Utah or, or uh, whatever, Northern Nevada, Idaho. Okay, Idaho really doesn't have mountains, but you know what I mean. It's all like pine tree and super foresty. Let me get going here for a second. And then hopefully my phone won't cut out. I'm going to pedal along and you'll see in just a minute after we leave the pine. I know you can't smell it, but just, you know, imagine pine. It's like a total woods, like you go camping in the woods. That's probably why we have bears living out here. And then you can see in front of me, all of a sudden, pine trees are gone. Tiny bit of a clearing. And then it's welcome to the jungle again. Cypress trees, Spanish moss, palm trees. Just kind of a weird, weird, sudden change. It's gorgeous though, is it not? Look at this. Anyway, this is basically what the trail's gonna look like till I get to the end. Awesome, awesome. All right, that's it for now. I'm gonna cut out and uh, I will um, come back to you guys when we get to the end. Unless I see something super awesome like an owl sitting in a tree and I can film it real quick. I gotta watch out for bugs and stuff. All right, see you in a minute, bye. Oh, here we go. Okay, hey everybody. Okay, so it's the last part of my vlog. Oh my gosh, I'm so sweaty. It's so humid here. But I just want to show you kind of in the background. There's this like paved wooden bridge that I just kind of rode my bike across. I'm almost at the very end slash entrance to um, the path that goes to uh, from the Lake Monroe Park into Gemini Springs Park. I don't know. I think it's about five miles. Um, whatever. Anyway, so I just wanted to show you that some of the beauty. Normally, this is all water down in here. You can tell by the bottoms of the trees and the coloration if you can even pick that up on my camera. Um, let me move my bike a little bit. That is normally a swamp. Um, and I don't know why there's no water in here because we've had plenty of rain lately, but I guess not enough to uh, fill it up. A few minutes ago, I heard a very, very, very loud owl. I was hoping to find him out here, but they're sort of elusive. I was out here once before. My husband filmed it on the uh, Aimless Adventures vlog, um, so you might want to check that out. Aimless Adventures vlog, all one word, on YouTube, Facebook. He's also on, I think, Aimless Adventures on Instagram as well. So we filmed an owl out here. It was super awesome. We were walking right here, and he was like right in this tree over here. And I said, oh my gosh, an owl. And he looked at me, and it was super cool. So anyway, but um, this is basically the end or beginning, however you want to look at it. And I just thought I'd show you some of the beauty out here again. I don't know if you can pick up on the sounds of all those bugs. Anyway, that's it. So I think what I'm going to have to do here, oh, my bike is going away. I think what I'm going to have to do soon is um, instead of doing a bunch of little short choppy vlogs, because I can't figure out on this iPhone how to hit pause when you're doing a video. I've hit the phone and it just doesn't pause. It just stops. It's either like stop or go. So, um, oh my gosh, that's the biggest spider web I think I've ever seen in my life. Anyway, um, I know you won't be able to pick it up on the film, but it goes from this fence. I see the spider over here into the trees. The massive spider web built by this one little spider. Oh, maybe it's built by multiple spiders. I don't know. He's cute. Okay. And he's got a lot of bugs trapped in his web. Good for him. He's not moving. Anyway, if y'all know how to hit pause so I can just make like small segments and just have one continuous or contiguous, uh, you know, vlog, let me know. Otherwise, I'm going to have to switch and get out a Get, go back to a droid system where I can have an SD card, you know, that I can splice it together, take out the card, put it on Windows Movie Maker, and, you know, make a nice video. Another big spider web. Oh, there's the spidey. Oh, it's another one of those with the, with the clown face. 
All right, well, I'm heading back into the sun now. I'm gonna go put my bike away. Gotta go to the store. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the beauty of this place. If you live out here, please come out here and enjoy this. If you come to visit out here, please come out here and enjoy this. There's so much amazing beauty in Florida. I can't get over it. Anyway, love you guys. Thanks for stopping by. Um, until next time, have a blessed day. Bye.